High Rise Mystery, Chapter 62. We stood in the rain at the back of the crowd. Droplets ran down the back of my neck, under my shirt. I shivered in delight. Norva was less pleased. She looked at me, annoyed underneath her mangled umbrella. As she spun around to talk to me, a free rib threatened to take my eye. I ducked. Honestly, can't believe you like this wet mess. What's wrong with you, she grumped. What? I laughed. It's refreshing. Norva looked to the sky. Weather gods, she bellowed. It's mid-August. I'm so sorry I cussed. I regret it. Okay, I take it back. Campaign starts now to bring back the sun. How many signatures do you need? I'll do it. It will be sunny next week. Don't worry, I offered. I checked the forecast. Yeah? What good's that going to be? We'll be stuck in school. I shrugged. Sissy wheeled by, talking to Barry. You two should be at the front, she said with a smile, pushing us forward with her hand. This is all thanks to you. Next time, get me some money for Bermudas, will you? shouted Barry. I need me a refurb. There won't be a next time, Barry, I said, hopefully. Barry nodded. Norva watched them move away. They're right, you know. Let's move. I said, I said I'd live stream George's debut, said Norva. George stood on the makeshift stage outside the room, formerly known as The Hub. This one's called Justice Jam, he shouted over the microphone, featuring the one and only Troj Cat. Justice Jam was his new song with his hero. It was words and phrases from Serena's confession, interspersed with Trojak saying justice in a multitude of ways. Hand, hands in the air, Tri Gang, he demanded excitedly. Everyone's arms remained by their sides, apart from Norva's. This one is a certified bop. What's wrong with you lot, she shouted, jumping up and down with her umbrella and foam singing along. Half a million or so, justice. Vaz with a lid, justice. Brooch, 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 justice. I defended my eyes from the weapon she wielded. George spotted us and pointed. N squared in the house. Pap and Jane held hands next to the statue of Alice Silverstow. Katie stood next to them. She rolled her eyes and laughed. The song ended, finally. Peace out, try. You've been great. Peep my sign, Clyde, yeah? shouted George as Pap pulled him off the stage. The try offered a smattering of applause, mostly for Pap ending the noise. Jane held the microphone. Hello, everyone. Thanks, George, and thank you all so much for coming out in this weather. She laughed and looked at the sky. To the opening of the HKW Centre for the Arts. The crowd cheered. This new facility replaces the hub and the previously empty adjacent units. Just so many thanks to give. Wow, where to start? To everyone that contributed to the trying Triangel's efforts to make this happen, thank you Joe, Mark and the volunteers for pulling the building work together. The crowd roared. Thanks to the art club for their wonderful collage. Thank you, Mrs. Kowalski, for the refreshments throughout. The Pergoes, the Pergories are particularly fresh today. She did good. But most of all, I'd like to thank Norva and Anika Alexander. Heads turned to look at us. Oh, I hate attention. Today just would not be possible without them. Their dogged deter determination and their considerable bravery. Jane's eyes filled with tears. I'm so proud of them, and I know Hugo would be too. The crowd applauded wildly. Pap especially. He winked at us and beamed proudly. Come on up, Nick and Norva. Open the HKW. It's all on you. Norva grabbed my hand. Time to shine, she said, throwing her braids over her shoulder. This is our moment. Alexander's assemble, I replied with a smile. That is the end. Although, Nick and Norva will be back.